Hi everyone, it's Christina and welcome back to another Plan With Polish Land video. Today I have a Before the Pen plan with me for the week of April 3rd through April 9th and I am featuring the Ohalo Stationery Co. Watercolor Floral Kit. I bought just the full boxes so that I can use a lot of leftovers in my sticker collection from other kits and other sticker sheets that I've bought since I began planning. And I actually planned out this thoroughly. I have a stack of stickers here that I will be using to fill out this spread. So hopefully it'll go according to plan. I'm going to start down here in the note section by putting down a hydrate sticker from Ohalo Stationery Co. As always, I will have direct links to all of the products I mention if they are still available for purchase. And if that exact product isn't available, I will link you to the shop. And I do have a coupon code for Ohalo Stationery Co. where you can get 15% off using the code POLISH15. It's in the description box so you can just copy and paste it. So next up, I am going to use some leftovers. I have this habit tracker from an old Ohalo Stationery Co. sheet. And then I have this purple habit tracker from a Moonlight Paper Co. freebie. Now these don't match, but I figured it's okay. The colors are complementary. And to round out the habits area, I have this one loan quarter box from an older Ohalo Stationery Co. kit. And these are all in similar colors, so I think they will go well together. So I will put the quarter box down first. This actually matches up really nicely with the monthly color. Then I will take the Ohalo Habit Tracker. And then I will take the Moonlight Paper Co. Habit Tracker. And I'm just going to adjust this one a little bit because it's crooked. And I wanna make sure I can line this up as straight as possible. That's a bit better. And this is going to hang out of the box a little bit, but that's totally fine by me because now I have used up two sticker sheets and a little bit of a freebie. So next I am going to grab my half heart checklist from Caitlin and Co Designs. I do apologize that this shop is no longer in business, but I will go ahead and link a similar item from Oh Hello for you guys because I trust Oh Hello and I'm happy linking to their shop as an option. Let me just turn this on its side. I am going to alternate with this pink color right here because I feel like that matches up pretty well and with the purple one. So let me go ahead and do that by putting one of these down on every day. And you know what? I wasn't going to do this, but I am going to. I'm going to put down the odds and ends headers just to put them to use because I buy these full boxes and never use the odds and ends, so I really should use them. I'm just going to place that up as high as it goes and then put this little half box down. So these colors are not going to be perfect, but like I said, as long as they're complementary colors, that will work for me. So then I'm going to reach for a purple one. I'm kind of going for a purple, pink, and yellow spread in the additional colors that I'm adding in to this spread. And I know this kit has blue and green in there as well. So hopefully everything will look okay in the end. But as I always say, my planner doesn't have to be perfect. I've seen online lately a lot of people who just don't understand why people plan with stickers and I totally get it. I know it can seem silly, especially if you're an adult, but for me, it's a hobby that I enjoy and it also serves a functional purpose. And my planner spreads are more of a scrapbook of my life than just a functional tool, which is why I put in things that you won't necessarily need to put in your planners. Okay, what color did I leave off on? A purple, so now I wanna grab one of the pink half boxes. And I will have one extra odds and ends header, but that's okay, at least I've used most of them in this spread. Have you guys seen my planner stickers I love but never use video? In that video I talk about headers and how 
I have a bunch of them and I just rarely use them, so I am trying to put them to use more often. And if you make planner videos, definitely watch that video. It's a tag video and you can go ahead and film it as well and let us know what stickers you love but never use. Okay, so here is the last half box. Now I am going to reach for my page flag stickers from Michaels and I'm going to use the yellow ones as checklists this week. I'm hoping this isn't a mistake in terms of my color palette, but there are pops of yellow in the full boxes, so I'm going to make them work. And I will put one down here in the notes section as well for a weekly checklist. The notes section is a little bit awkward this week, but that's okay. It's almost time to open up my second pack of these page flag stickers. I just adore these. I should probably stock up on another one just in case Michaels decides to discontinue them because I will be really sad when that day comes. Okay, here's my last checklist on this side and then I will flip it over and do the same thing over here. It seems that I don't have many spreads where I need red checklists. That's pretty interesting. Let me know in the comments if you find that there is a color that you don't feature a lot in your planner. I find that pinks, greens, blues, those I typically have a lot of spreads featuring those colors, but yellows and reds, I don't have as many. Okay, here's the last checklist on this side. And now, I can move into the full boxes. So as always, I am going to trim my full boxes down so they fit a little bit better in the Horizontal Life Planner. I'm just going to eyeball where to trim it. I've gotten so much advice from you guys about how to trim down these stickers and I really do appreciate your tips, but this is just the way that works for me. Okay guys, I'm so sorry about that. My camera shut off for just a second, but as I was talking about, I really appreciate when you guys leave comments with planning tips on my videos. I always take your tips into consideration, but at the end of the day, we all have to do what works best for us with our planning style. And as I've mentioned in the past, planning should really be something fun. If it's stressing you out, I would definitely think about why it's stressing you out because I know for me, planning is definitely my stress reliever. So that's why I don't take it too seriously and why things don't have to be perfect. I feel like these full boxes are wider than they normally are. They're going outside of the box a little bit, but I've lined them up. So we're just gonna go with it. I do have to say this pop of yellow looks great with the yellow checklist, so I'm pleased about that. And here's the last full box on this page. Yeah, I definitely feel like these are a little wider than normal, but that's fine, not a big deal at all. Let's flip this over and continue building on the other side. And for those of you wondering, I am using the matte paper from Oh Hello Stationery Co. I really love this matte paper because it's easy to write on with any sort of pen and it also lays really flat in the planner so you don't have to worry about it bulking up your planner. It's funny because I know for a while Oh Hello was known for their really nice glossy stickers and it's funny that we're now transitioning into the premium matte phase that I feel like they're the first shop that ever had the premium matte that I tried. Okay, here is the last full box. And then I will go ahead and put in a weekend banner. I have these weekend banners from Ali's Planner Hood which is now known as just the Planner Hood shop. I think I will put in, let's see, let me open this up and see what the color scheme is looking like. That yellow does stick out, but it's okay. I like it. I think I'll put down the purple weekend banner and that will lay right over here like that. And I have a few more things left to do. I want to mark the Celtics games using these basketball icons from Oh Hello. So there is a game on Wednesday. 
I'll put that, let's see, right over the little hearts. We only have a few more games before the playoffs. And as I film this video, the Celtics are fighting for the number one seed with Cleveland. So I'm hoping they will get that number one spot so that they will have home court advantage throughout the Eastern Conference playoffs. Whoops, I just put this down on the wrong day. Oh dear. Okay. Not a big deal. I also want to use one of these little trash can icons for trash day, which is Thursday. Whoops. That looks cute. And then what I'm going to do on Saturday is mark my sister-in-law's birthday. I have this one random half box from the Oh Hello Under the Sea weekly kit. It obviously doesn't match at all with the theme, but I feel like the sea creatures, you can't really see a lot. So I'm hoping the blue and yellow will pop out in the spread. I'm going to put that right over here. Yeah, you can definitely tell that these boxes are wider because it's hanging out outside the half box. I don't know why. And then I'm going to take this little blobby holding flowers and use that to mark her birthday. Okay, so that is everything I have to put in. I have totally finished up three sheets of leftover stickers. I'm excited about that and I made progress on some others. What I'm going to do is turn off the camera and then I'm going to write in as much as I can and be back to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've written in as much as I can in advance. I am pre-filming this video, so I apologize that I can't write in more. I really like how this spread turned out. It's not one of my favorites, at least not yet. I think it definitely changes throughout the week when I add in all of the other stickers. The yellow definitely pops out, but I think if I add in some more yellow stickers and even some more purple, it will even things out as well. But overall, I'm really glad that I took this opportunity to use a bunch of stickers in my collection, and I think it looks really pretty. I don't usually think of purple being an April color, but it looks really nice, and I am excited to see how it evolves throughout the week. If you have any video requests for future videos, I would love to hear them. As I mentioned, I do always read your comments and I take every single one into consideration. And if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I post planner related videos every Tuesday and Saturday and I would love to have you here. I will talk to all of you in my next video. Bye!